Hello, I'm Alyssa Ford Morrell. I'm with the Master Gardeners of Northern Virginia. Here today to talk about an invasive plant, butterfly bush, a really beautiful plant here, also known as Budlia davidii. But before I start talking about the butterfly bush, I want to make sure that we're on the same page about what I mean when I say an invasive plant. I'm not talking about a plant that spreads too much in your garden and starts to irritate or, or be a problem in your garden. In fact, the formal definition of an invasive plant is quite different than that. It was set in 1999 when President Clinton signed Executive Order 13112, which said that invasiveness is about being non-native to the area in which it is occurring, and that it is able to escape cultivation or management by humankind, getting into the wild and outcompeting native organisms, causing harm in one of three ways, either to human health, to the economy, or to the environment. Butterfly bush is a gorgeous plant. The blooms are prolific. They come in a variety of colors, white, purple, lavender, even some pinkish varieties. Um, and it is a big attractor of pollinators, but that's actually one of its problems. Uh, it is so appealing to pollinators that those pollinators often do not go to our native plants, depriving our native plants of the pollination that they need. Butterfly bush also is a vigorous reproducer. It spreads its seeds widely. In the wild, it can create dense thickets, particularly along stream banks and in disturbed areas. It also has the problem that even though it attracts the adult butterflies, it does not support a single American butterfly baby or a caterpillar. No caterpillar that uh, where the egg was laid on this plant will be able to survive. There are butterfly bush varieties that are marketed as being sterile or low fertility, meaning that they shouldn't reproduce in a problematic matter. However, if you've seen Jurassic Park, you'll probably understand that a lot of plants and animals can revert to their original form over time. And there's no guarantee that those sterile or low fertility cultivars will not do that at some point and once again become a problem. Instead, it's a much better idea to plant a wonderful native plant instead that can do some of the same things that butterfly bush does. Fortunately, there's a number of great choices. The first plant that we'd like to suggest as a replacement for butterfly bush is button bush, Cephalanthus occidentalis. This is a gorgeous shrub that can grow to be up to 12 feet tall if it's the straight species. There is a cultivar called sugar shack that only grows to be about five feet tall if the straight species is too big for you. It has these great flowers. We're actually just a little late to see them on this particular shrub, but here you can see that we have, after the wonderful white blooms that look like something from outer space, we've got the, um, flowers past dropping their petals, and they form into these little brown nutlets that persist into winter. This plant looks good through the fall. It has nice bright yellow foliage, and then in the winter it drops its leaves, and it has a really nice silhouette. It serves as a host for a couple different kinds of moths, which is really nice, and the butterflies will love it too. Another plant that would be a great choice as a replacement for butterfly bush is butterfly weed. Uh, the name weed is misleading to a lot of people. They think it means it's gonna to grow too much, but in this case, it's just an old term for the word plant. And in fact, entomologist Douglas Tallamy has suggested that this particular plant should be renamed 
monarch's delight because this is one of the host plants for the monarch butterfly that really needs our support. Esclepus tuberosa. It's a beautiful orange flower, really bright in summertime. This is actually a rebloom after the first time it bloomed. Um, it's a great plant that is a host plant for the monarch babies, and lots of other butterflies will love this plant also. So do hummingbirds. So butterfly weed is a great choice for your garden. We're here at the Glen Carlin Library Community Garden to show you our next alternative for butterfly bush. And this is Clethra ulnifolia, or sweet pepper bush. This one happens to be a cultivar called Ruby Spice. The straight species has pure white flowers and it grows to be six to 12 feet tall. So it would be a good deal taller than this one. And this one also has rather attractive pink flowers that um, are really great because they set in July and August. This is just the end of their season, so we only have a few flowers left. But they set at a time that most shrubs are not in flower. It also has wonderful bright yellow foliage in autumn. So this is a, a shrub that offers quite a lot of interest through the year. Whichever plant you choose to replace invasive butterfly bush, we wish you happy gardening.